Well, we ended up with that beautiful, idyllic picture of the beautiful stone house, the Marsh House. We were going to leave and go to another location. And then Don and Breck brought us around to this side of the house. And this shows us the challenges. It's not so idyllic, is it? There's a lot of work to be done here. Now, there's a tremendous amount of work to be done, and we're dealing with a sandstone building. And if you look, um, there's also not only the sandstone on the outside, but there's a brick wall on the inside. With some space in between. And that, that basically keeps the home warm in the wintertime, cool in the summertime. So it acts as early day insulation. Now, how in the world do you fix something like this? This is a huge project. This is a huge project, and not only do we have to fix it, but we have to fix it uh, with uh, like materials similar to what was used in the 1800s, and wow. that is a challenge. Well, again, though, this is going to be even more significant when someday they dig this interview out of the time capsule <laughs> and people who are used to seeing this as a restored beautiful visitor center will see what it came from and how much work had to be done to make this into a viable state park right it takes a tremendous amount of work to get it up to where the visitors are in and they're using it and learning about the the area uh this like you said is the, the ground floor of the park and and we have to stabilize this we have to uh, um, uh make it earthquake safe uh and put it all back to where it was well there's a lot of work yet to be done but now let's end this segment with this shot not the idyllic beautiful postcard shot but this shot of the work that still has to be done before this park opens up to the public. This is definitely a park in progress. Just wait a few more years and they'll be here ready for all of us to enjoy.